Okay guys, so today I have um, a bunch of new products that I've just accumulated over the last few weeks. So I want to just sit here and um, play a little bit. I have obviously no makeup on. I just washed my face and put on some moisturizer. So um, a lot of the products are like on the higher end, um, but we're going to see. Now, sometimes high end stuff doesn't work as well as the drugstore. Um, so, okay, so the first thing I want to do is, oh, I want to make a disclaimer. Um, I'm really sorry about if the lighting kind of shifts off and on because it is a gloomy, rainy day here in Florida. So, I am just kind of working with what I got. Um, hopefully, it won't be too unbearable when I go back and edit this. So, please bear with me. But I wanted to do this today because I may not have a chance tomorrow. So, yes, let's jump right in. First thing I'm going to do is conceal these horrible dark circles. I'm looking at the viewfinder right now, and it looks like my eyes are sunken into my face. So, we're going to fix that. And I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I was always curious about this, but what really made me buy it was I was seeing Jessie James use this in one of her tutorials that she has on YouTube and um, she's actually I think the same shade as I am so I want to see if this does what it says it does um, the shade I have is number seven and it's just a squeeze to bottle now I did not get this to highlight under my eyes I really wanted it to conceal for before my makeup she used it before her foundation so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna take like that much because I don't even know what this is gonna do. Hold on, I'm gonna grab one. Okay, so I got a mirror. So we're just gonna put this. I'm just gonna do one eye first so we can see a difference. So I'm gonna take just this real techniques brush. It's bright right now. Wow. Can you guys see a difference? Like, it completely made it so much more brighter and even like I don't have the darkness that's on this eye over here wow I like it and I use the tiniest amount so all right so going in on the other eye I'm going to take about the same amount And this matches me pretty well. Like, it's a tiny bit lighter, but I like that. Like, it's not overly light. Like, I'll just, I'll have to, um, I'll just use, like, less concealer or less foundation in that area. So I'm just patting it. How does that look? Wow. That is some serious stuff. Like, it is so even. Okay. So we concealed our eyes. And now we're going to just go in with evening out our face. And to do that, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Um, and I have mine in the shade Natural number five. And this is from Bare Minerals. I don't know if I said that. This is what the packaging looks like. And it just says it is a tinted hydrating gel cream, SPF 30. Apply to clean skin with fingertips. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, just shake it up. I don't really have any like breakouts 
or anything i just always have redness like a mild rosacea so all right so i'm gonna take oh, it's got a little cap thing there which i like that it's covered so let's take that off i'm gonna take about that much i'm just gonna do one side of my face so that we can see i like doing it like that so you guys can see like the coverage oh this is really nice Can you guys see a difference? Like, no, no, what is this? Complexion rescue? And, no, and a little bit. I guess it evened it out a little bit. It made it look nice and not shiny, but healthy. So, and it's, it's a little bit tacky, but let's let it set. I'm going to go in with the other side with about the same amount. I didn't put a primer on, but that's all right. Okay, so let's do a little bit more to see if it builds up. So I'm just taking a little bit more and putting it in between my fingers and then massage it all over. I was going to get the shade number six, I think it was called Ginger, but my Sephora was out of stock so I was like I'll try this one and if it didn't work. I was gonna bring it back but it seems to work I just like that the ginger was more of a golden tone and this one is more of a neutral tone I didn't want anything pink so I wanted something neutral or warm so okay so let's check it out it's not I mean my skin looks even and like I, I look fresh I look put to, not put together but I don't know it's still a little tacky let's let it set for a second in the meantime let me do my eyebrows so the new thing I picked up is from the drugstore and it's by NYX their micro brow pencil and the shade I have is espresso and I'll do a so it has like a really thin then pencil and then it's got like the spoolie on one end and here's a swatch for you they did have black but I didn't want black because it would be too harsh so let's broom these suckers okay and then let's Please excuse the noise in the background. My daughter is playing with my makeup brushes because she refuses to lay down and take a nap. Hmm. I don't, I have never used the Anastasia, I'm probably the only person in this world that hasn't used the brow wiz. I do own the pomade, but I wanted to see if, I mean, I don't own, like I said, the brow wiz, so I don't know if this is similar, but I'm thinking of getting it so that I can see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is the same? Should I even waste my money? I wouldn't be wasting it. I would be, I would use it. But I am 
I'm not sure if if I'm just gonna get the same thing at a, a at a higher price. So. This spoolie is really nice though. I like it because it's stiff. Okay, so one eye done and one eye not done. I don't want to do anything too dramatic because it's a Wednesday and I had nowhere to be. But And plus, it's nice just to fill in your brows to give it some shape. I don't think it's too bad. So let's do the other side. This video is going to be like 5,000 hours long. I don't know. I always start at like the end of my eyebrow. Like it's something that I just always do. And then I just kind of work my way forward. I've been obsessed with like getting things for my brows like to make them look good and not take as much time to do them. So let's just fill in a little bit more. I like this color. This is Espresso. I like it. It's like the perfect color. Like it's not too dark and it's not too overly light. Oh, thanks Piper for turning my fan off. Hello, son. So what do you guys think? They even? I think they're even. It's supposed to be sisters, not twins. I always have to remind myself of that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to try is this NYX brow mascara or brow gel. And... I got the shade Brunette. They did this is what the wand looks like. Here we go. I have like these little hairs in my way. Whoa. Clean that up. How's it look? This one compared to this one. Hmm. I like this because it doesn't distribute too much product. It distributes just enough and I appreciate that. bad all right so now that I let this BB cream or whatever it's called set I'm still a little bit sticky but I'm going to powder and this is a new purchase this is the Stila illuminating powder refill and I got mine in 40 40 watts this is another Jesse James Decker inspired purchase because she used this so it's just a really nice compact and that's the shade there it's a little bit light for me right now that's because it's summer or well where I live it's summer all the time so I'm just gonna take this brush and kind of just pack it and then we're just gonna pat I've never used any Stila like face products. I think the only thing I've ever used from Stila is like that kitten eyeshadow. I own that. But I don't really like I don't 
I don't think I've ever used like a mascara or a, I have some of their liners but I've never used their foundations or concealers so this is gonna be the first I like this because you could purchase the compact but um, I like this because I can put this in my Z palette like when I travel Take it to the forehead and pat. Okay. Not too bad. So, to set my... I didn't even set my under eyes because I didn't put any concealer because I already covered the dark circles. And for a day-to-day, -day, I don't really wear concealer. So, um, but I do want this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've heard great things about this. And I did purchase this about a week ago. <laughs> so, um, it's just a little tin like this. Alright, so that just took me like five years to get out. So I have a little bit here in the cap. I'm going to take that same little concealer brush and dust it right here. And I think that this powder will be nice because if I don't wear concealer but I want to brighten up my under eye, I think this, this will be great for that. So, you see a difference? I don't know. Maybe like when I do wear concealer, I will see a difference. I don't know. Okay. So now that I did that and I don't even see a difference, we're just going to move on. So what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Okay, I think I should put some mascara on these lashes. Now that I put on some mascara, let's go back to the face. Oh, the sun went away. Okay. So this is a new find for me. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Medium. <coughs> I love this packaging. And I think this is so pretty. So we are just going to bronze our face with that. And let's see, what do I want to use? I'm just going to use this dome fluffy brush. Bronze, like I don't want to contour. I just want to bronze my cheeks. I heard, what's the one that like a lot of people from her like what's it called I think it's like natural right is it natural um I didn't pick that one I picked this one but um I kind of I like this because I've been using like um the NYX matte bronzer and I like it. I, I actually hit pan on it. But I just wanted something new. You know, like I've been in the bronzing thing lately. With spring coming that I figured I would just go crazy and buy a lot of bronzing powder. So now that the perimeter of my face looks nice and bronzed, I'm trying to blend it out because... I don't want to look scary. Do I look scary? Oh gosh. We're going to put some blush. Alright, so note to self. Use this powder with a light hand. Okay, now let's do blush. So the blush that I'm going to use is new. What else? Becca's Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. And I love how their packaging is like a little like spaceship dome. It's just so cute. So, whoa. so this is what it looks like. And we're going to go in with the Sephora Pro Air Brush blush I'm gonna just dab it lightly because I don't know if this is really pigmented Ooh. and kind of just blend that I wanted to do something really neutral and bronzy Ooh, this is really nice my dog keeps barking and I took him out like I don't 
don't know what else he wants from my life. Okay. I'm just gonna go crazy with this blush and just put it everywhere. Alright, so that was that. I don't have anything for my eyes. I want to keep my eyes a little bit... Now, I don't want to leave them bare, though. So it's Bobbi Brown bronzer, and I just kind of define my crease a little bit so that it looks somewhat decent. I ordered the Bobbi Brown shade eyeshadow in Camel. I think over the weekend, Kathleen Lights had posted a picture her saying it's becoming her new favorite shadow. And she looked gorgeous in that photo, so I ordered it like 10 minutes later. I had to. I had to because I love everything that she recommends or wears, so I just had to. So, cannot wait to play with that guy. Oh, there we go. It brought up my eyes a little bit compared to this eye. It just gave some warmth to my eye. And if you guys are wondering, this bronzing powder by Bobbi Brown is amazing and it's matte. So, two thumbs up for that. thing is lips right so oh I want to try this out I'm I usually don't wear like eyeliner a lot I've kind of steered away from doing that but I got this as a like 100 point perk and I've heard really nice things about this this is the Marc Jacobs high liner gel eye crayon in black this is what they gave me and it's a pretty generous size um, I put this, I swatched this on my hand when I got it, and that swatch did not come off until, until like, the next day. Like, I even took a shower, and it didn't even come off. So, I'm just going to do really lightly, because I don't want any, anything too harsh. See, I don't like that. I wonder if he has one that's like, like a nude color that I can put in the waterline to open up my eye. I like my eyes open. I don't like them to look too closed. But now I feel like I have to tight line. Okay, let me tight line real fast. So, this liner I'm liking. I like it because I want to see if he has maybe, um... Where's the back of that thing? Like nude colors. Because if this stays in my waterline the way I think it's going to stay, I want a nude one. So, okay. It says available in nine shades. Oh, they have ice. I wonder if that's really white though. Ooh, this. They have brown. I would like, I, I like brown better than I like um, black. It's not like that harsh. So anyhow, okay. So let's go to the lips, and I picked this up the other day as well. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Whipped Caviar, and I saw that this was a dupe for Br Max Brave. I think I saw it on Pinterest, and I'm just going to swatch. I don't own Brave, but um, this is it here. So let's get this stuff off. And then let's powder the lips just a little bit. Okay. Should I do a, a lip liner? Yeah, let's do a lip liner. Let's see. I'm going to take this Urban Decay in Wicked.
Okay, so I'm going in with this color. I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit. I like it. It's like a mauve -y. Not the best way. It kind of is the same swatched. I'm gonna let it dry a minute and see if it transfers. This Makeup Forever, like I think this is gonna be a holy grail covering up circles kind of product. Um, what's next? Let's see. Okay, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Um I don't know, like I don't it did set after I put powder on. Maybe I'll try it one more time, but if if I don't like it, I also have to see how it holds up. I will return it. This was like a $29 product. Um, and if I don't like it, I am not afraid to return things because I don't, oops, sorry. I don't believe in keeping things that you won't use. You may as well buy something that you will use. This will be really nice to have. I might get the shade, the next shade up. And then I also liked the Benna, Benna, Becca um, blush. It's just a really nice neutral blush. I mean, it's wearable for any kind of look, um, any time of the day. So I think that this is going to be a NYX, as well as the tinted mascaras. And I really like this Ma um, Marc Jacobs liner. I'm going to go on the Sephora site and see if I can find anything in a nude shade because I'm looking for a really nice nude in the, in the, in the rim um, liner. So I liked that. Um, and this Laura Mercier, I mean, maybe because I didn't put concealer under my eyes, but I didn't find it to be anything life-changing. I am going to keep it and use it for a few more times before I make like my decision on it and what else did I use I think that's all I used oh I love this Bobbi Brown bronzer like I think everybody needs this in their life mine was in the shade medium um and oh and the lipstick okay this look color I like let's see if it transfers oh it transferred see but it is pretty matte and I like it. It makes your lips look full. So, and this color was really hard to find. My Ulta only had this one left. I They do sell it online, but I'm just an impatient person. And if I want something, I have to have it when I want it. I can't just wait for it. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that was just, that was it. Just playing around, sitting here, playing with some new products um and let me know what you guys want to see next i hope that you guys found this helpful and maybe some of these things will make it into my march favorites okay so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video bye